I'm a Mackie plastic fan. But one thing I've learned over the years is that not all Mackie plastics are the same. And the best part, they're convertible. If you find yourself getting short bites, maybe it's time to modify your Mackie plastic. So what I've done is I've taken a Jamie XL, just like that, which is great in some aspects. But if they're short biting, all I do, simply bite a chunk off and make it even shorter. What you can also do is take two different plastics, put them into one jig to have two different presentations. So you have a vertical and a horizontal plastic on a jig presentation. Be mobile, be convertible, be willing to adapt. That's your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. I'm Chad Cummings. A useful little tip for you guys, when it's a windy outside and you don't have your shanty, keep your rod tip as close to the ice hole as possible because when you have that crosswind, it creates unusual and odd behavior with your bait. It can make it sway back and forth or even do spins. And that can turn off the fish. So right now I have very finicky biting bluegill. So I wanna keep my rod tip just above the water. You obviously don't want it to get wet and freeze up, but you wanna keep it as low as possible to make sure you reduce any wind movement in your line. This way you can make finicky fish bite a little easier. I'm Jim O'Neill, and that's another tip from Midwest Outdoors. When it comes to fishing plastics, I, I use them year round. They're really lifelike nowadays. They've got a lot of action to them, but you gotta make sure that you're presenting these baits properly. A couple things that I do is to make sure it's tied on there properly so that bait's sitting horizontal. Another thing you wanna make sure is if that tail gets slid down in any way at all, you can get a lot of spinning in your line. What that happens is you're not fishing that bait properly, but it also creates a lot of line twists. So, Coming in, making sure your plastic is in line with the hook shank is really important. I like to rig my straight tail plastics if they're curved up a little bit. That way when I'm jigging, it adds a lot of action to that plastic. Fishing these baits correctly and make sure that if they get ripped in any way that you're replacing that plastic is really, really important to catching more fish. Hey, I'm Tony Roach. That's another tip on Midwest Outdoors.